In this problem, we've been asked to find the length of the arc AB. This means we're trying to find the distance from A to B. Um, and this is a minor arc since they used only two letters, so that means we know we need to go the shortest way from A to B. We know how to find the circumference of a circle. We have the formula 2 pi r, and that will find the entire distance all the way around the circle. Um, so if we're trying to find just part of the circle, there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, one way to do it is to use a proportion. Here's a formula you can use if you want to use a proportion to find arc length. On the left side of the proportion, we have the measure of the arc. That's how many degrees the arc is out of the total. There's always a total of 360 degrees for a circle. Our arc is 144 degrees, so we can write 144 out of 360. So that's the fraction of the circle that we have. This is how much we have out of the total. We know that that fraction is going to be equal to the fraction of the length of the arc, how long that arc is, the distance, divided by the total distance around the circle. That's the circumference. We don't know the length of the arc. That's what we're trying to find. So we can put an x there. They haven't given us the circumference. Um, they didn't tell us the total distance around the circle, but we know a formula that we can use to calculate that. Um, we can always use the formula 2 pi r for circumference, and that will tell us the total distance around the circle. We know our radius is 10 right here, so we can plug that in for r. So I can write 2 pi times 10. Once you have your proportion set up, all you need to do is cross multiply. Um, so we can do 360 times x and write that first. And then that's equal to these two multiplied by each other. To leave your answer exact, um, you can leave the pi out and just multiply the other numbers together. So if I do 144 times 2 times 10, that gives me 2,880. And then I can just put the pi at the end. So this is exact. If you're looking for a rounded answer, you can go ahead and multiply by the pi button on your calculator. Next, we need to get the x by itself. x is being multiplied by 360, so to undo that, we can divide both sides by 360. Um, this cancels out. Um, to divide this, you can leave the pi out for now. 2,880 divided by 360 is 8. So we can just write 8 and then bring down the pi. So if you want an exact answer, the length of this arc is 8 pi. If you want a rounded answer, you can do 8 times the pi button on your calculator, and it comes out to about 25.13. So the distance from A to B is about 25.13, um, and that looks reasonable to me. I knew this distance from the center to A was 10. So if you think if you kind of curved that 10, you'd make it here would be about 10, here would be about 10 more and then about five more, so that looks reasonable to me. Um, anytime you're doing arc length, it's always a good idea to look back at your answer and make sure it sounds reasonable.